let's go, let's go, let's go. Hello, my good people. I hope you are good. I am great. Welcome to another vlog. Um, my name is Tiamo Mikanyani and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're a returning subscriber, I will leave fridge. I will. It's a new month. It's a new month. It's April. March was quite rough. Um, and I'm really, you know, for the first time, every month I, I have like, I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing, but every month I have like intentions and goals and things that I really want to focus on and achieve and whatnot. And for some reason, out of the five things that I write, I like, I, I literally managed to like do like two or three of the things and, um, and it's okay. I'm, I'm not too hard on myself because I mean, obviously life happens. And I think for me, the past two months, life has happened it's it's been quite great there's been such great moments that have happened and i'm so grateful to god and i'm just like yo Mudim, wow thank you um and also there's just been some other moments that are just you know you know how life is um you know so this month i'm actually i don't know like i'm going into this month not knowing <laughs> like it's so weird like not knowing um yeah not knowing i think i don't really have a lot of things i mean obviously you have like life goals or you have goals for the year and those are things that you work towards every single day um but i think for me within the yearly goals that i have i try to have like monthly goals or certain things that i would like to um achieve or it's and it doesn't even have to be like big things but just like things that or something that you know what that's going to make me look back at the end of the month and when i reflect upon the month i'm like wow this and this happened i set out to do this and i actually did it and i actually you know managed to get through it it wasn't easy wada, wada, wada. so that's normally what i would do i did it in jan feb and march um and let me tell you i saw god through it all um but this month i literally I don't have, I might have, because I feel like for the past three months, I've just been, you know, I don't know, mainly focusing maybe on work and, and I kind of have just been neglecting my health. Um, and I've kind of been neglecting like just me and just, you know, feeling good and looking good or maybe not neglecting, but I think I haven't really been consistent. And I think this month i kind of want to push myself to be consistent especially when it comes to commit and be consistent especially when it comes to um, my health my diet um, just taking care of myself taking care of my body my skin um maybe my hair <laughs> just taking care of myself you know um i feel like i just need to be a bit more intentional i really haven't been um honestly i really haven't been um I've been working out, but it's been wishy-washy. I've been trying to eat healthy, but it's been wishy-washy. I just want to use this month as like a Kickstarter just to like take care of myself a little bit more, you know, um, and eat a little bit cleaner, you know. Uh, yeah, I kind of was influenced <laughs> to do clean um, April and just basically eat clean for, for the rest of the month. Um, I think that will also help with my stress levels. It will help with my energy because my energy is quite low. Like when I wake up, like I'm so tired, you know, and yeah, obviously I'm not sleeping enough because I work too late. <laughs> it's not the greatest. Like it's, it's not how I know myself to be. Like I've just been feeling out of tune, out of vibe for a long time and yeah and i'm saying this because maybe there's maybe you who's watching oh at least i got to do my nails child it has been a while like it's been like three the last time i did my nails was in december but anyway um yeah i was saying what i'm saying this you know to say to someone else who's feeling how i'm feeling that hey you're not the only one we are all struggling we're all going through this and yeah, and, and hoping that by you watching this vlog, you know, you are somewhat motivated, somewhat, you know, inspired to also get back into the groove. Um, 
you know sometimes we we set out to you know to live like a positive healthy lifestyle and all of that and and it doesn't doesn't really happen the way that we want to um and sometimes we'll fall off the wagon because you know things happen and life happens yeah man i've just been feeling sluggish and i want to get out of that funk that's all maybe i'm sharing too much maybe i will edit this out i don't know let's be real man like let's be real it can't always be about aesthetics it can't always be about um the good things um yeah sometimes you have to show the side of yourself because we all have that side and if i'm brave enough to come here and talk about it then you are also brave enough to do something about it um so yeah anyway i just wanted to do an intro and this was a long intro but yes please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and yeah welcome to my channel also just to plug you guys if you've been looking for like me if you're looking if you've been looking for this oil um dispenser thing i put my olive oil in here cooking oil olive oil whatever oil you use to cook if you've been looking for this and if you go to shops it's like quite pricey please like your at homes your mr price homes and all of that and i have got this one there's a shop in i think it's southgate value mart it's called panda stores this is 33 rancher what i also wanted is um something for my honey um a honey dispenser thing and Shem, i saw it go mr price home there eh? and it wasn't that bad it was like 120 and i actually should have bought it i don't know why i didn't buy it for like my coffee nook but anyway um let me go have my coffee and then go work cheers see you later okay i'm back <laughs> still the same day i was telling you guys what a serious i am i am going to try this clean what hashtag clean april so i'm going to do that this month i'm going to try that and my first thing to do actually let me show you i purchased um juices cold pressed juices from surf fruit and i am going to start with the detox so i'm going to start tomorrow with a detox um it's not like a week i think it's a three day detox just a disclaimer it's not my first time i've done this detox and all the time when i do the detox i always order from sir fruit um i've never tried other brands um i feel like this for me is the most reasonable option um, and I also enjoy the taste. It's reasonable. I enjoy the taste. Actually, it went up by three rand. <laughs> I'm sure you guys on YouTube are going to think Koreas and I'm such a frugal person. Not really. I'm not a frugal person. But yeah, anyway. The first one is the beetroot one. It's apple, beetroot, raspberry, carrot, and the ginger one. So I call this one the beetroot one. Also, the carrot, apple, orange, granadilla, and ginger. This is the green juice one um my favorite is the green so the carrot and the green juice very nice but anyway i just thought i should show you because i was speaking about being clean this month and <laughs> wish me luck <laughs> we'll see how it goes oh i love the shot yes so fruit i'm here i'm here please sponsor me gila gali representer <laughs> at night in the morning <laughs> at night midnight um yeah i sleep very late guys i'm so tired yo i'm so tired but yeah it's 12 o'clock and i thought hey let me do a skincare night time routine whatever updated not so updated trying out new things I've spoken about my skin before and the issues that I'm having um, and I've literally just simplified my skincare. I won't go into too much details actually. 
um, because I've told you guys that I have issues with my skin and I'm, you know, trying to resolve it. I am breaking out like a teenager, all of those things. I've mentioned it before. Um, it could be hormonal acne, it could be stress, it could be just like, you know, maybe the imbalanced lifestyle, like now I'm sleeping late um, and all of that. So it could be various factors. Yeah, but like, I feel like sometimes, I feel like it's getting better. It's just the, I'm not breaking out as much as I used to. I think right now it's literally, it's the, it's the pigmentation or the dark marks that I'm struggling with. And that's why I'm saying that I'm going to start introducing like serums and stuff. I recently bought, yo, know, my cupboard is so messy. For someone who loves organization, what is this, honey? So, I bought this. This is the Dema Opal um, Blemish Cream. I was plugged or influenced by Agnes, Agnes Madaun, um, and she spoke very highly of this. So, I was like, oh, let me try it. It's a very small tube, but, but I guess you don't have to apply it too much. I'm not going to try it tonight, but this is what I got for my blemish and my hyperpigmentation. Um, I'm just kind of trying to deal with the acne first. And you know what? Ever since I started, I'm not saying it works or it doesn't work really. I'm trying it out. Please don't take my word for it. I don't know as yet. I am going to give it like a good two months. Um, but I've been using this Cetaphil acne prone what yeah cetaphil pro acne um prone skin so it's a foam wash i've been using that sometimes i use this one it is the cetaphil yo guys why does it look so dark i feel like you guys can't see anything And then once I'm done with that, uh, the cleansing, then I'll go in with the Click Skin Care Collection Toner. Um, and then after that, I will go in with the moisturizer, this the Cetaphil Pro um, Acne Prone Skin Moisturizing Lotion. Um, yeah, so I'll go in with this one. And then for those pimples and the breakouts then i'll just go in with this benzaic there we go the benzaic benzac hey benzol it's a benzol peroxide so i'll just put it on where i had like pimples or breakouts there and then um I don't normally use this all the time, but this is the eye cream. I use this a lot when I feel like I have dark marks or whatnot. So that's basically my simplified. I don't know if it's simplified, but that's. that's, that's be it could get better i'm um, honestly it could get better if i am just consistent and i think that's why i want to dedicate this month to just being consistent just committing and being consistent in just the little things like washing my face twice a day in the sorry in the morning and in the evening um yeah i don't do it a lot and i need to try to do it a lot <laughs> yeah Sometimes, guys, some days I, I just pass out. Like, I literally pass out and I forget about skincare and nighttime routine. Just really, I want to take my supplements. This is collagen. And I'm supposed to take it at night. Do I take it every day? Cha? No, I don't. When I remember, I do. Most of the time, I pass out. Like, guys, you don't understand. The way my sleeping is set up, I pass out. 
I'm not one of those people who who actually say, okay, it's eight o'clock, I'm gonna go to bed, get in bed. No, that's not how I fall asleep. How I fall asleep is I pass out. How I sleep is passing out. And I don't know whether that's good. I don't think that's good. In the mornings, shim. Mornings, I'm here. I, I don't know if I'm a morning person or not. Um, but when it comes to taking care of myself in the morning, I'm, I'm on point. Washing face. I do, I do it all. I do it all. Taking supplements and all of that. But at night, mm-mm. Mm-mm. I need a little bit of help at night. Um, yeah, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.